got um, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to record your iPod screen um, without a camera. Now, I did get a request to do this from quite a few people. They kept asking me, how do you do it? How do you do it? So here you go, guys. Um, it's a quick video. It should not take you very long to figure out. Basically, it's using a VNC server, so... Um, that's why it's not perfect all the time. But, so here we go. You're gonna have to have a jailbroken device for this. <laughs> Obviously. But, in the city, uh... Hold on, I gotta make this bigger here. I guess we'll go there. Now, as you can see in this corner up here, you can see that I'm using a screen record program. So there it is. Alright, now once we are inside here, you go to search, and you guys are just going to search. It'll be in the description, but here it is. V, as in Victor, E, E, as in elephant. Alright, there it is. Uh, N, C, Y, V, and C, I guess you call it. And this is it. So you just click this. This is really easy. I already have it installed. Just get that installed. Alright. No, I pushed the wrong thing. But after you guys get that installed, you're going to go into the description. And you're going to download one. It's called VNC Viewer. Type VNC Viewer. Now, you don't have to use this. You can also use um, any VNC Viewer. But I personally like this one. I have found this out from one of my friends told me how to do this. I think that it's great for videos, guys. Um, if you're planning on doing any iPod Touch videos, this is a must-have in my book. I mean, yes, it's n it's not very good for app reviews. That is one thing. I've gotten that across, but I mean, because see, look, watch. Say I go into touch command right here. Well, it do obviously it doesn't flip, but doesn't even get the video. I mean, I'm actually playing a game here, and it, it won't pick it up. Uh, I'm not actually sure what, why that is, but see, I'm playing it as you can hear. That is a problem. I wish it would fix it, but whatever. Um, it still works great. Now, after you do Use the server and everything, the viewer. Slide this across. Now, as you can see, I can control my iPod from my computer as well as controlling my screen and everything. Now, that's very easy. Just do it with a mouse. Now, say you want to get back to your home screen. Just simply push. Yeah, you guys didn't really notice it. It's going to my music. I don't know, I don't know what's playing right now, but oh, nothing. All right, so you just right click and it'll bring you back to your home screen and um, I'm pretty sure that hold on I'm not positive here but if you have one of those little scrolly thingies like I do yeah and you click that that'll put it in lock and then it'll take it out as well I do like that <laughs> so you can really just control the whole device controls let's get into the viewer so you can see you'll be started with this just leave this default connections leave that change the server to your iPod's IP if you don't know how to do that go look at my SSH video I show you how to do all that fun stuff and then just push connect on your iPod you should get a confirmation message you just push accept and you should be all set uh, this is that tech dude and I am out thanks for watching guys please subscribe